So Cindy? Yes. Uh, Tell me more. The sign question was which states are involved and why? Mm -hmm. And my question was um, in uh, what was my question? <laughs> uh, what, what what exactly is the question? Like, are you talking about uh, which which states have issued the visa? Like to victims? Um, well, I, it's, it's probably the federal visa. Was, was well, that's issued. what I wanted to say because it is a federal visa. And, and well, yeah, and I just wanted states. to know whether there are certain states that, that were interested and in, in not. It was just, oh, a, yeah, a, you know, it's, every it's state. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's every state. I, you know, I don't know that it's okay. Nebraska. I bet you it's Arizona. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. You know, um, um, I, I want to know which states, um, yeah, there's no particular legislative um, 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 reason mm -hmm. for a state to be involved. But there are... There, there are particular states, according to the report, um, mm -hmm. based on, it says that there was a, a special victims unit training, uh, law enforcement, they, they made a unit, they trained certain states uh -huh. through web conferencing, and the states that they provided um, training to law enfor enforcement agencies in California, Illinois and New York. Okay. So those, I'm assuming, because through the training, then they would be the ones who have the most interest or have That's the most right. cases. Okay. Now this is why I asked this question. Mm -hmm. If you're talking to the Department of Homeland Security and you're a reporter and you're an investigative reporter and you're asking lots of questions, and, and the next day. You're coming up with more questions because you've talked to your editor, and the next day you come up with more questions. What do you think the Department of Homeland Security people who run this program are going to start to think about you? Are they going to? Are you going to raise their anxiety level at all? You know, fourth day in a row they got a call from this reporter, and you know what? Every time this reporter calls me, he's got a better question. He's got. I've got to go dig out some information. I never thought about that. What is this guy doing? Eventually, it's going to shut down. Eventually, well, you know, my my um, my supervisor said that I have to refer all phone calls to the public affairs office. And, uh, and you call the public affairs, and the guy doesn't call you back, and then so you, well, you know, prepare your questions in writing. Questions in writing, and you get them, and three days go by. So you see what happens? Slowing you down. So you, maybe you go off. You know, there's a news hole out there. And it's got to be filled. And if I take three days to answer every one of your questions every three days, you'll finally you know, maybe go away and do something else because you're under a lot of pressure because you got to fill space. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're all taught that. So, okay, the way that you, the way that you, uh, you have to find a source sort of uh, who's in the game, but is not a, not responsible for the game. Okay? So. If we find a source in California, Eleanor Inert, one of these people who have been specially trained and talked to talk to people, he might love talking to you. Oh my gosh, someone from Washington DC is calling me up and asking me about this thing that I'm specially trained on and has a bunch of questions. And remember, he's an expert. He's you know, he's been specially trained. He knows all about this. He knows exactly what's going on in this issue. You develop a source outside of the official system. See that in, 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 and oftentimes, especially um, as you get more uh, into um, an investigative piece, you begin to, uh, you know, you know, um, there's an information drill. The, the central information is here, um, but politics um, protect it. Okay, there's pressure, um, political pressure that keeps the information tight because if it leaks out, something might happen that, that is not on the po political plan, okay? Loose lips sink ships, okay? Um, um, does somebody know what that, that's a 1940s phrase um, um, that they said in America because they were afraid that some, there were spies, there were either Japanese or, or, uh, or German spies in America trying to find out information about Convoys, or you know, whatever convoys are leaving. Loose lips, things. If you don't talk about the fact that your son's on a convoy and he's leaving uh, New York Harbor tomorrow, you know, those loose lips sink ships. Okay, but anyway, it's it's a it's a common you don't talk. Okay, but these guys have to talk to the states. They have to talk to Congress. 
because they get their money from Congress. Mm -hmm. They have to talk to the White House. They have to talk to, in this case, the Department of Homeland Security. Okay? These are people they have to talk to. They can't not talk to these people. Okay? So you have to possibly penetrate people who are knowledgeable about this um, uh, at this level, okay? The more you start to ask questions here, you're just adding pressure. You just start to add more pressure, okay? So eventually you have to find out as much as you can outside of this, because then when you go in, then you have to use your big guns. You have to, you know, then you start demanding information with consequences if they don't respond. In our newsroom, we say, uh, you know, it's time to go to the loaded gun. The loaded gun is, I've done, done some research, I'm writing a story that says this about your subject, okay? And it's getting published in two days, and you have, and, and you need to respond to me, or you need to read about it when it comes out, okay? At that point, you only have one of those shots. You want to be as prepared as you can in terms of the questions that you need answered from that person at that point, okay? Because lots of times they'll call your bluff. I've, you know, I've played the loaded gun, and the guy looks me in the face and smiles and says, good luck. <laughs> and you know what? I gotta publish my story, I hope it's right, you know? So, so, so you don't wanna play that game until you're ready to play, because there are, there are definitely big boys around here, and, and girls. Uh, uh, um, um, who will look you right in the eye and say, good luck. Looking forward to reading it. <laughs> I'm not the reader, please. <laughs> but, um, but, but, uh, but, that's, but you know you're working towards that. So you, you know, at some point, the more questions you ask, the more times a reporter asks a question on the same thing, the more nervous you know, people go. Get, you know, it's just as simple as that. So you gotta sort of use your, um, Use your, uh, your, you know, your anxiety. Use the anxiety meter well. <laughs> so one of the most <laughs> wonderful things about uh, the internet-based reporting is you can find out a lot, all the stuff that you guys have found, basically internet. I mean, that was the most difficult thing um, um, 20 years ago. I would have to find out all the things you're finding out by going over to Congress, asking questions. You know, I would just have to hang around and ask a bunch of questions, raising everyone's anxiety levels. <laughs> Tremendously, and I had no idea what I wanted to report yet. You know, <laughs> everyone was ready to shoot me, but I, I and boy, I don't know, I'm just looking. You know, so you know, because you know, I've got a job too. I've got to, you know, I've got to put food on the table. I've got to find a store. But so I didn't know what I was looking for. But already people said, "What are you finding out? What do you know? You're gonna get it all wrong. You don't know anything about this." <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because it's hard. <laughs> so nowadays, it's much easier on the internet to find out some basic stuff. You know, so you know. I mean, you know, who are the people? And we, you know, there's somebody in California, Illinois, and New York who we can find who's going to be knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure the Chris Smith staffer, this Gary Morgan, this other person that was mentioned in the story, the people that brought the suit, the, what was the, the American something, immigration civil something? ILA or something? The ILA. Well, yeah, what was it? There was a group, a couple. Yeah, there's somebody that, the group that, um, that uh, actually sued the American government. Immigrant Legal Association, something like that? Is yeah, that what was her name? It's a lady. She oh, was yeah. quoted in this story. That was the president. Yeah, the president. What was her name? Oh, Crystal Williams. Crystal Williams, yeah. I didn't, I didn't find the suit from that group. There was a suit from the uh, American Immigration Law Foundation. Yeah, maybe that's it. American Immigration Law Foundation. Is that something? Right? Lawyers Association. Is American it? Immigration Lawyers Association. That's well, it. That's it. Well, well, she's the one that's quoted in the story, but yeah. I couldn't find like a suit. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should. Um, Did you read the email that I sent you? Yeah. 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 Thanks. Did somebody else find the suit? That, that's a that's a different group. Though. That's A I L. It, what was there a mention of a of a joint? So we don't quite know where the suit is. Well, there was a suit from the 
from a different group. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not from the Lady Bells. Okay. You know? And yet, yeah, basically, they sued because um, they weren't issuing the visas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, maybe the reporter that wrote that story got it wrong. Maybe they thought that. Because I, I think that story created an impression that this no, they didn't. They didn't say that. Oh, that, they did. That was okay. an organization that sued. They just okay. said a group of. A group of. Yeah. So maybe maybe this. And this then later uh, on, they just quoted American them. Immigration Lawyers Association was one of the signer honors. Mm -hmm. What was the okay? So what was the what was the the, the lead group on the suit? Um, American Immigration Law Foundation. American Immigration Law oh, Foundation, and, and is that different from the American Immigration Lawyers Association, or is there? Are we just getting, you know, let's get our name right. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm making it more confusing. You guys tell in me. In 2007, there, attorneys there. for immigrants who had been yeah. victims. So okay. there are several attorneys, and there is a suit, but um, American think, Immigration Law Foundation would that be the? Basically, there are lawyers from each of those organizations that represent different plaintiffs, and it was kind of like joint, okay. a joint yeah. suit. Yeah. Yeah. So did anybody actually find that suit? Yeah, I have a. Because if at the end of the suit, is end, is the end of the the uh, the complaint, there'll be a a, a, a service page mm -hmm. that'll show you all those all the signings onto the suit. Mm -hmm. I found it. Or if it's in the, if it's in the, if it's in the case of the, if it's if you're finding a court document, it'll say, you know, DHS versus mm -hmm. blah 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 et al. Uh, court civil docket. You know, and in the first yeah. line, in the first line, it'll say a you know a coalition made up of the you know all the groups that are part of the suit will be in that. Yeah, that's how we found that. Yeah. Uh, but what you want to do is find the lawyer who wrote that plain, complaint. You can Doesn't access it, but you need to um, have um, sign up for PACER. Okay. No. So All right. And um, paper. <laughs> let me. See. If someone sends me the um, the the case number mm -hmm. and the, and what court it's in, you know, maybe I'll be able to get. Uh, it's a Northern District of California. All right. Yeah. Send me an email with, district, with yeah. that with that information, mm -hmm. and I'll see if I can pull it. We're using Scholar. Let's see if I can pull a case for you guys. I mean, because like I found I found this, but I don't know. What it's going to be. I'm just referring to the civil docket so case. I'm guessing these are all the lawyers. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's, so this was a district court. Catholic Charity CYO is that? Uh, what's your what's your uh, Catherine? Is your yeah. court case name called called Catholic Charities? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we might have it. This might be it. Um, um, let me see. Okay, this is the court <coughs> decision, right? Yeah, I think this is the opinion. All right. Yeah, that's that's. Um, is that a link? Yeah. You want to send that link to uh, to um, to everyone? Because you're looking at a motion to dismiss, right? Yeah. 